Welcome! In front of me I have Amazfit T-Rex Pro and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on the watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on the watch, your watch needs to be paired with an iPhone via the Zap application. Once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we need to make sure that the required permissions are allowed for the iPhone and the Zap application to send the notifications to our watch. So let's open the settings on our iPhone first. In the settings, scroll down to the list of applications. It's at the bottom. And on this list, find the Zap application. Right here, tap on it. And right here, make sure that the Bluetooth option is enabled. And then you can also tap on notifications and make sure that the allow notification options is also, or rather allow notification option, not options, is also enabled. So make sure that the allow notifications and the Bluetooth are enabled. Once they are enabled, you can go back to the main page of settings, scroll all the way up, find the option called the Bluetooth and tap on it. And here you should see the list of my devices right here. And on this list, you should see Amazfit T-Rex Pro. Tap on the info icon next to it. And here make sure that the share system notifications option is also enabled. Once it is, you can close the settings. And now we can open the Zep application on our iPhone. Once you open the application, you should see the home page. Now you can tap on the profile icon. And here you should see the Amazfit T-Rex Pro on the list of devices. Tap on it, select it. And on this page, find the option called notification and reminder and tap on it. And here we have the list of or other different types of notifications and reminders. First, let's enable the notifications for calls. So tap on incoming call. And here we can enable them or disable them by tapping on the switch. You can also enable or disable a couple more options like show contact information and delay alerts. If you enable it, you can tap on set delay and you can basically set the delay to whatever you want. What it does is basically it delays the notifications about the call on your watch. So if you get the notification or rather somebody calls you on your iPhone, um, you have the not delay set to 20 seconds, the watch will wait 20 seconds and then it will alert you about the call. Okay, next we have the app alerts. This is the notifications for the applications and you can enable and, dis and disable the notifications for specific apps right here on the list by tapping on the switch next to them, like that. You can also scroll down, find the option called more apps to open the, uh, more, the list of more applications basically, as you can see. And also if you don't see the uh, up on the list, on this list and the previous list. You can scroll all the way down in the app alerts and you have the option called other. If you enable this option, it will basically enable notifications for every app on your iPhone. Okay, let's go back to notifications and reminders. And here we have the uh, incoming SMS. We can tap on it and here we can enable the uh, notifications for messages by tapping on the switch. And the last uh, option is incoming email and you can enable the notifications for email basically. Also, you can uh, change the settings for st standing reminder. You can enable it or disable it, change the, uh, uh, the sc schedule time or when it's working basically. And also you can change or enable or disable the not goal notifications if you want. Okay. And once you're done customizing your settings, you should be able to receive the notifications at this point. Um, I'm gonna send myself a message on Discord just to demonstrate it, so let's do it. As you can see, we got the notification on our iPhone and also on our watch. If you miss the notification on your watch, you can uh, I believe swipe 
right, yes, you can swipe right on the screen to open the notification panel and here you can tap on the notifications to read them uh, and you can scroll through them by uh, swiping up and down. Okay, and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.